What's happening? I'm Chime Time, and welcome back to another episode. Oh, sh of the Chime Time Restaurant Review. So I'm out here in Charlotte today. Queen City, baby. Queen City got them tig old bitties in the Queen City. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so today I had a taste for some wings, then I had a taste for some seafood, then I had a taste for some waffles. So I'm driving around Charlotte like, is there any place that sells all three? And ladies and gentlemen, there is. And today I'll take a review comes from Cuzzo's Cuisine was had and shouting. You remember me? All right, good people, so first we're gonna try these six wings now. Just so you guys can see how the six wings looking right there with the lobster mac and cheese. So this whole plate right here with the wings and the mac and cheese cost me $14, and I want it all drunk, so it cost me an extra $2.50. I do not know why restaurants charge that much for drums, but whatever. So we're gonna try this out right here. It's a nice little sexy wing right here. Mm. Okay, okay. Mm. 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 bad, yo. So um, the wings right here, the jerk sauce is pretty good. The presentation is great. It smells good. It's juicy, nice and tender, a little crunchy. What I will say about the wings though right here is that you could have gave a little bit more jerk sauce. Stop being stingy on the jerk sauce. And I'm keeping a buck with you. Underneath that little bit of jerk sauce y'all put on this chicken, that chicken is definitely dry. And also these wings taste like they've been sitting out for a little while. How I know is because the wings are pretty cold. So yeah, I'm not sure what has happened here, but despite the wings being cold and them sitting out for a little while, I mean, they are good, but you could have gave me some fresh ones, you feel me? But outside of that, I mean, like the wings were, they were pretty good. Oh yeah, for the record, if you eat all flax, you are toxic as f I'm just saying. So next we're gonna try this lobster mac and cheese, yo. With this lobster mac and cheese, I heard it's bussing. Everybody say the lobster mac and cheese is the bomb, right? And I'm eager to see how this tastes because so many people like this. The lobster mac and cheese going in me mouth. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna start by saying this. The chew of the noodle and the cheese is pretty consistent. What I don't like about this mac and cheese and that I despise about this mac and cheese is that they only gave me one, two, three, three pieces of lobster. And on top of that, the lobster looks like imitation. Again, I could be wrong, y'all can check me in the comments below, but this right here looks like imitation. And the mac and cheese, I'm gonna be real with you, it just kinda threw everything off because this plate wasn't cheap. And for you to charge me $16, for just some mac and cheese and wings and no lobster, kind of pisses me off a little bit, you feel me? But back to the mac and cheese, if you wanna know if there's anything special about this mac and cheese, it is good, but it's nothing really special about it, you feel me? I was expecting for something, something to be different about this mac and cheese that would stand out, it's really not. I mean, but it's good though. So with that being said, I gotta get this whole plate of seven. Next we have, okay, this looks pretty good. Just so y'all can see the beautiful presentation, the big old fish right there. Now this is a little unique right here, cause I've had shrimp and grits before, I just haven't had fish and grits before. And this is a big piece of fish. Mm. Mm. Okay. That fish is popping. So off the top, the fish is seasoned. It kind of worried me a little bit because they're seasoned on the top. A lot of restaurants use that as a appearance mechanism to trick you to think that the fish is seasoned. This was nice and juicy, wasn't overcooked. So the grits are not bland. They actually have a little bit of taste to them. They're not really runny. They're nice and solid and thick. And on top of that, they are seasoned with something I'm trying to figure out. Maybe it's the season from the fish that went onto the grits. Whatever it is, I mean, it is pretty good. The only thing I would recommend for this plate right here is that when you're making these cheesy grits, maybe you should stir in the cheese inside the grits a little bit more. Just having the cheese just chill on top of the grits really don't appease a lot of customers. But hey, if it's working for you, man, it's working for you. So with that being said, I gotta get a fish plate in A. Next to last on the list, we have Aunt Bungie's Red Velvet Waffle. Just so y'all can see the Red Velvet. Now with a name like Aunt Bungie, you know she have been around for a while. I just hope she's been around long enough to know how to fix a waffle. Yeah, so this waffle right here was $8. The presentation on this damn thing right here is horrible. I'm not sure if the waffle got stuck to the iron or somebody bit off a piece of my waffle or what. Presentation just ain't there right now. But you know what? We gonna try it anyway. Let me take another bite. Let me take another bite. All right, I'm Bungie. <sighs> Listen up, listen up, listen up. So the waffle really didn't have too much taste to it. And on top of that, the waffle is like 
really soft. So soft that it's just coming apart. So I'm really not feeling that. The size of this waffle would have been pretty decent had it not looked like somebody took a bite out of crime and bit into my waffle. The waffle also had way too much cream on it. I'm not even sure what type of cream that is. I mean, it was good, but it was just too much cream. But I will say, I think, in all honesty, this waffle could be great. I think if they would have cooked my waffle just a little bit longer, my waffle would have been on point. And I also think if they would have laid back a little bit on that sauce, I could have tasted the waffle a little more. Because right now, I can't taste nothing. So it wasn't bad. It just can be improved. So with that being said, I got to give the waffles a seven. Last but not least, man, we have the cactus pear lemonade. So this right here, man, they actually advertised this when I walked in. They said it's a new thing that they have. I don't know about cactuses and lemonades, man. But I mean, we gonna go ahead and, whoa, 30 grams of sugar? Damn. Okay, you know what, that's, that's actually pretty good. So I definitely can taste the pear, I can taste more of the watermelon than anything. <clears throat> And despite it having 30 grams of sugar, it does not taste like it's that sweet. And with this costing 350, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. It's actually pretty good. I think I would buy it again. So yeah, man, shout out to Cuzzo's Cuisine, man. This right here, you know what I'm saying? It, it was really pretty dope. All right, now let's jump into the experience. So as I get out of my car and walk up into Cuzzo's Cuisine, I notice something. The colors outside actually match the colors inside. So everything is very color coordinated. Vibes is cool, it's clean in here. It smells pretty good. I walk to the right, look at the wall, seeing a bunch of pictures, and I noticed something. I noticed the baby on the wall. The baby on the wall. And I gotta say, he's short as hell. But you know, y'all doing big things, man, so congrats on that. Also notice the front counter is kind of sealed off because it's six feet, you know what I'm saying? We don't want to smell your arms, your breath, no, your then look to the left, and they got security in this mall. And I gotta tell you, you know what I'm saying, despite them having security up in there, I'm not sure who he was. That dude was cool as hell, man. Like, I can actually probably talk to him all day. So shout out to the dude that's in there, security garden. If security garden is a word. Also, when I look under the register, I notice a bunch of business cards that lets me know that they support local businesses. So hats off to you. I mean, I ain't got no hat on, but you know what I'm talking about. I do want to give a shout out to Maisha. Uh, she's the one who took my order. This restaurant in the past from doing research has had a problem, I guess, with customer service. And I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I was expecting for you to be rude as hell. But you won't. My customer service was good. Could have been a day, could have been a time, could have been a person. I don't know, but I'm telling you what I observed. Customer service was great. So Maisha, if you're watching this video, I appreciate you. Now let's get into the dislikes. So first off, let me start by saying it took my foot about 15 and a half minutes to come out. Which was very surprising because as I did research on this restaurant, I heard that this was like a big problem. So I'm very surprised. The menu is overwhelming. I actually took it upon myself to count how many menu items that were on this menu. It is 77 menu items on this menu, including drinks and desserts. That is ridiculous. So to some business owners, that's good, but to other people, like customers like me, I don't like it so much. It was so much food, I didn't know what to pick. Some customers would've actually probably just walked out and just said But you know what I'm saying, do you? Prices at this restaurant are extremely high. I mean, I know y'all trying to run a business, but damn. You guys charged me $14 for the wings and lobster mac, extra $2.50 for all drums. So let me just say this, although the wings are good, if I would've got just wings, it would've been 925, plus an extra 250 for the drums. The wings are good, but they are not worth damn near $13. And on top of that, the lady at the register, Miss Maisha, charged me extra 2050 cents for the wings. Now, she didn't let me know it was gonna be extra 250, and on top of that, on your website, it definitely says an extra $2. So are you trying to get over on me? I know it's extra 50 cent, but you gotta be consistent. You feel me? Another thing I like about this restaurant is, I'm not sure if it was today, but this restaurant is slippery than a motherfucker. I wouldn't dare bring my grandparents up in this, man. I understand y'all got the red signs out there that say slippery when wet, but they ain't gonna stop nobody from busting that so I'm gonna need for y'all to fix that, man. That's like, that's like really dangerous, man. For those who have not been to this restaurant, this restaurant inside is kind of small. That's not a bad thing, I guess, considering the fact that we're on the COVID. All in all, ladies and gentlemen, I had a pretty good experience. Despite what I've seen online, this is a pretty good black owned restaurant. So wherever you're watching this video, whether it be Charlotte, Greensboro, Hot Point, anywhere around the world, I think you should come down to this restaurant. If you're looking for a wide variety, a huge selection of food, damn good fish and grits, you might want to come here and try it out. Oh, 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 and they got a 97 7.0 sanitation score. Restaurant owners all across the world, we are currently recovering from a pandemic. If you like for me to come do a review at your restaurant, hit me up on Facebook at Chom Tom or hit me up on Instagram at Mr. Chom Tom. Ask all my fans. <sighs>
I love y'all, man. Thanks for the support. Be blessed. Peace.